Hi, I'm Janique. Are you a subscriber of my channel? Do you love the classical work? I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment in the comment box below. On to today's class. Today I'm going to talk about hip power. What is hip power and what is, what is its role into building strength for your body? Everything we do includes leg work. So we need to move, we need to keep our legs mobile, strong and flexible. So when your hips are not very strong, your spine feels unsupported. If you have weak hips, you're going to feel that strain in your lower back because they're not all connected. So hip power goes way more than that. You can start small by building strength to support your lower back and your abdominal muscles, it, but it can also extend to lifting your hips up because without hip power, you can't find your abs and without your abs, you can't lift your legs above your head without landing on your neck or your spine. So we're gonna lay down on our blocks. Just remember if you have two blocks, you can use two blocks if one is not enough for you. So your sacrum will be on your blocks. I'm using two just to show you if you need more support with your lower back. So you're gonna inhale, lengthen your right leg away. Exhale, keep your hips square and fold your knee back. Inhale, stretch your right leg away. Exhale, fold your knee, leg back. One last time. Exhale, change side, inhale. Exhale, deep breath in, your back is supported. Your sacrum is supported so you can stretch your psoas and your spine muscles. You can find more space in your spine. Last round. And then you're going to exhale. You're going to knee fold and down. Your arms by your side, knee fold and down. One more in and down. And then you're going to alternate in. You have the support of the blocks. Last breath. And exhale, keep your left knee towards your chest, stretch your right leg out. You look for where you feel tight, is it in the glute or is it in your hip joint? You exhale, you allow those muscles to release in the block behind you and stretch your inner thighs to give you more rotation in your outer hip muscle. And then you come in, you stretch your outer hip muscle. And then come back center, switch side, right knee towards your chest, elongate the left leg away. And again, look for where you feel tight. Exhale from there, and then stretch your inner thighs to contract your outer hip muscles. And then come back in, switch side. When you press, you gotta feel a little bit of the outer hip muscle stretching. And then come back in, do a little circle reverse and then you go in since you're in a supported bridge position we are going to lift lower the leg down inhale exhale we're going to do some supported leg kicks exhale inhale lift exhale down so remember if you want more uh, stretch in the front of your hips you can Take your block to a, a little higher setting, so where you're, you're gonna get more stretch here. And this is really reserved for somebody who's really strong and can handle holding their strength here to open the hips. So if you feel like a grip in your lower back, you're definitely too high to what you can handle. So go back down where you can control the muscles on the front. Supported bridge with leg kicks. Inhale, you go up, exhale. You want to touch the floor and stretch your knee. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, 
exhale, last round, and exhale, slide, stretch the other leg out, elongate, 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 support your back muscle with your strength of your tummy in the front, inhale, exhale, inhale, stretch, exhale, deep breath in, inhale, Two more rounds. Last in and exhale. Now slowly lower yourself down. Remove your block. And we're gonna do a little bit of pelvic tilt because we want to feel like they, they are, there is movement in your sacrum and your lower back, which then indicates you that the muscles are flexible and strong. So if there is a movement that you get stuck, definitely the muscle here need to be considered. All right, so from that position, we go back to our neutral position. We're gonna circle the hands at the back, grab the back of the head, and then fold the hips without lifting the sacrum off the mat. You're gonna inhale and then you're gonna exhale. Bring the muscle of your ribs towards your pubic bone. And then you inhale down. So usually when you stretch the front of your hips, this movement becomes a little bit more fluid. And there is muscle available. Change butt on a perch. Last round. Flex your toes. then you're gonna keep your legs out, point, flex. Oh, my abs is on fire, <laughs> so I need to take a moment. Because the reason I slow down is, if my abs is burning and I cannot handle it, then at some point my back will take over to help out. I just don't want a, that to happen. So, all right, I'm gonna do the point and flex, and then straight away I'm gonna do in hundreds. So you're on your sacrum, and you're gonna continue to feel that suspension inside that's gonna hold your legs towards your spine. That's the reason we've opened the hips, we've opened the outer hip, so all these muscles that give us hip power, the hip power is really when you can use all the muscles that are attached to your hips uniformly so that they support the, ab they support the abs and the spine. So you're gonna take a deep inhale. You're gonna exhale, point and flex. And hundreds. And exhale. Two more rounds, and exhale. Stretch your arms back, sacrum is heavy again. You gotta feel those legs connecting all the way up to your obliques, so when you flex, this is your abs power, because now you've got your hips power. Deep breath in, curl, and nod your chin to your throat. Exhale, <sighs> push the abs in, and now you land on your hamstring when you totally use your abs, inhale. Roll your hips back. And exhale, head down, deep breath in. Open your spine, exhale. Inhale, roll your pelvis. Open your lumbar spine, exhale, head down. Two more rounds. Exhale. Inhale, roll the hips. Open your lower back. Exhale, last round, inhale. Exhale, inhale, roll the hips. Exhale, head down. There you go, now you see, hopefully, if you did open your hip well and now you're feeling strong, this knee fold for 
all the rolling like a ball, stomach series, anything that you have to keep your leg here comes from the muscles of your abs, hip power, to stay in your connection. Extend your leg up, inhale, cross over. When you cross over, twist your hips, twist your spine, and open your deep six rotators. Inhale. One more time. Change direction. Cross over. So when you cross over, allow your hips to bend. Even if it's on the first one, it's not possible. Second round, you can check. Last round. Knee towards your chest, deep fold, and then switch side. Deep knee bend. So you can feel like the spine naturally sinks down into the floor because your abs feels long inside, not because you forced your back down. Your abs is elongating your lower back muscles and all of the muscles that are attached to your spine are not in under tension because your abs are working to do that. You extend your leg up, cross over, inhale, exhale out. Deep breath in, do a little twist with your hip, down, you go up, you exhale, two more rounds. Last round, in, exhale, change direction, in. Two, last round, and then bend your knee, both knees in, rolling like a ball. Exhale up to sitting. Uh, pull your legs very deep in your waistline. There goes your hip, hips power. So you're gonna pick your hips and bend your spine with it. You try to come over your sit bones from your ab strength. Inhale. Two more rounds. Last round. Stomach series. So the closer your legs can come inside your stomach with strength, the more you're gonna feel the tone of your abs. Take your right knee toward your chest, inhale. I'm gonna change to left leg. So sink down into the glutes so the psoas can fully work. Stay with your midline. So you wanna sink that leg right in the center of your navel, and you are within that center, and you fall deep in your hip socket. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Both legs in. Sink your hips down. Open the outer hip out. Inhale. Last round, legs are up. Okay, what does hip power do? They keep you in your abs so that your spine doesn't arch. Inhale, exhale. So you're looking at your legs moving from your lower tummy and come back from your all of your abs muscle. Last round. Exhale. Swing yourself up to sitting. Sit right over your sit bone. That's one of the best landmark to a uh, bony landmark. That's one of the best bony landmark to make sure you are in alignment with your spine and your pelvis. You inhale, you raise your hips above your legs. You exhale, exhale. Exhale. So here your pelvis doesn't really tilt.
because the muscles that are attached to your pelvis, spine, and legs are the one flexing you forward, bending you forward. You inhale, you lift your waistline, your hip muscles, while you stay on your sit bones, exhale. And then your spine feels strong, because all of the vertebrae are working. Last round. Ankles, grab your ankles, drag your, hip, your feet in. So open leg rocker. Your goal is move your hips and your spine. Of course you need a powerful chest because you don't want to focus here and lose that where you collapse. Just remember all of the details we talk about the upper body. So your legs are gonna be up. Maybe you're on your sacrum if that gives you obliques and lower abs, that's a great place to be. So you inhale, you rock back, you exhale, you come forward. Good, we're avoiding hips movement. We're looking at spine and hips movement together. Last round, and then we roll down, grab the back of the mat for corkscrew. Okay, we are gonna twist the waist to twist the hip. So the hip twists because we are using the muscle of birth that supports the hips, which are your obliques, lower abs muscles. All right. So let's pick the legs from the floor. So you inhale, you lift the legs up, you twist to the right, the left pelvis comes up, you exhale. You inhale. Two. One. Change direction. Two. Last round. Grab your legs. Open leg rocker up. Again, let's maintain our sitting bones on the... Oh, my hip flexor gets a little tired. Okay. So you can bend your knees if you want to and wrap your blades back. Bring your legs, arms up. Twist to the left and then feel the left ribs coming to your right ribs. Stay on your sitting bones, exhale. Continue to squeeze like a towel, like a wet towel. Last round. Arms go up, arms down. All right, I'm gonna use the swan dive to connect my hamstring to my back. So that means I'm gonna do eight very powerful swan dive. This is what get, turns my hamstring on with a powerful exhalation. That's what does it for me. We're talking about the hips. Find your pubic bone. Uh, find your pubic bone on the mat. And then allow your legs to elongate away from your waistline. Like we did in leg slides. And then lay down on your tummy. Hands under your shoulders. Pinch your blades back. So as you inhale and go up, your legs are going to detach from your spine and waist. Yet you're gonna feel this muscle contracting on your way down. You're gonna breathe in. 
and you're gonna exhale down one more time ready for the swan dive so you're maintaining your legs down your sternum are gonna be up your sternum will be up now ready use a lot of exhalation and stretch and go back single leg kick double leg kick all right, keep your arms down. Now that you find your hamstring, hopefully use it to bend your knee. One, two, switch. One, two, and one, two. Breathe. When you breathe, lengthen all the way. Lengthen your tummy muscles all the way down to your pubic bone. Feel that stretch all the way down there. In your quads, of course. One, two, and one, two. Exhale. Two, and then stretch your arms forward. Circle your hands around, right ear on the mat. So again, maintain your pubic bone down. You exhale, exhale, exhale. Squeeze your blades and exhale, exhale, exhale. Feel the stretch of your lower abs and pinch your blades together. And one, two, three. Last round. And then kick back, child pose. You can do your supported bridge with the leg kicks if you want. If you are not yet ready to use your own muscle, you can do a supported bridge. Okay, so the block is under. Maybe here is the right place for you. Or maybe here is the right place for you. So you're gonna stretch all the way down this muscle, but don't forget that your lower back should not feel crunch. You wanna feel like two chopstick uh, here between your pubic bone and your ribs, maintaining your spine long. Your arms by your side, your knees are bent, and you're gonna inhale. You're gonna exhale, elongate, your belly, that chopstick feeling. Two more rounds. Last round. Change side. Last breath. Exhale. Good, then you're gonna lift your block or you can go on your toes first. Lower your blocks down, deep breath. Then melt your chest, then your ribs, then your spine. Then you bend your knees, knee fold, press everything down. All right, turn on your side, side leg kicks. Up with your head then, use your cueing from last month an imaginary egg under your waistline. Pick the top leg. We're gonna breathe at the back, inhale. With a point foot, so lengthen, maintain your chopstick image. Exhale. Exhale. Now turn out your legs so your heel are pointing towards the inside. Exhale. Sorry, I gotta change my breath. Exhale. One more time, exhale. Then you're gonna be on your bicep. So today you're gonna pull, point your toes in the front and tap your heel at the back. Point, tap. So you are giving a little bit movement in your leg around your hip socket and you are turning on those muscles in. Then you're gonna bend your top knee, give it a break. Circle the bottom leg. Maintain your waistline up, which means really maintain your obliques up. Change direction. And then you're gonna slide your bottom leg. Inhale, grab your leg. Give yourself a little stretch more. Grab the inside, turn the hip out. And maybe there's a little stretch here, depending where you feel that stretch. Then you point, go down. Ah, 
reverse, inhale. Last round. And rest on your bicep. Feel long. Use the exact image again if you want, if that works for you. And then you're going to hold two legs up in, those, in the lengthy waistline. Bottom leg goes down. Hold, top leg. And hold the two legs. Turn on your belly. Don't go high. Keep your pubic bone down. Lift your hamstring and clap. And change direction. Lift your waistline. So we're going to breathe. Inhale at the back. Yet the hips are going to be level. Going to turn out your hip and... Breathe at the back, exhale. Inhale at the back, exhale. Last round. And then you're going to be on your bicep. Top toes, heel. Toes, heel. And then come back. Grab your ankle, circle, exhale, and then lower your legs down, you're going to lift your hip up and test your flexibility. So where can you, you lift your chest and open the hip, so both sides I got inner hamstring down towards the knee, maybe that's where I'm tight. Good, and then inhale down. And then inhale. Last round, and down. Hands down. Lift the legs up, inhale, exhale, deep breath in, bottom leg, and and then turn to seated position for teaser. Okay, hip power should give you up power, so you're going to lean back. You're going to pick your legs up. You're going to hold your legs. Walk down your legs. If you feel your abs here, then you know that's where you're picking your legs from. And you're going to keep your gaze down. You're going to lower your legs. One more time. And then lower your spine down. Woo. One more time. And all right. Can can on your elbows, knees bent. Deep squat in your hips. Legs will go towards the right while your left hip goes up. One, two, three. Come back in. One, two, three. Inhale. Last set. Left, right, left, and then come up, balance on your hips, turn them around for swimming. When you swim, feel how your legs are coming all the way up to here to give you that leg kick power. You want kick power. So let's go kicking. Ready? 
Arms going to be on the uh, forward. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Ready. We're going to go as up and up. And push. Chant. Seal. And push up. So today we're going to do squat. Both sides. Turn out and turn in. Clap. Two, three, roll back. Clap. Two, three, roll your hips and your back. And cross over. Legs, hip distance apart. Inhale, the arms are in front, the spine is tall, and the waistline is up. You're going to inhale, you're going to fold your hips, you're going to exhale. Four. And five. Heels together, high heels. So if you can go down, you're going to go down. You can lower your heels in between. Last round. Feet flat. We're going to go push up. Arms rise up. Bend your waistline. In, 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 in. Hands under your shoulders. And then pike up. Feet flat. Spine goes up. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you, are, you start to understand what's the goal of the hip power and what's, what's its role in your strength, in your practice. If you feel that this video was useful, press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to also share this video around with your friends and family. Maybe you have friends who's complaining about the same issues that you have, so you can come together and support each other by practicing together. Stay consistent and keep practicing. Build that strength, build your endurance. You're gonna feel a lot stronger. I'll catch you next week.